his foot into the ball. The deep guy, the top guy over there is Acker, and the bottom guy will be Pope. And Acker is standing back there at the goal line. I'm going to be surprised if he has any kind of a chance at all. And I'm surprised because he will have a chance. Now he's backing up now and over his shoulder. And now he's running mate back there. Sam taking the end. He draw and he's on the Manning watch list. Their quarterback, he's 6'4", 230. He is a junior two-letters from South Lake. Threw for 3,828 yards last year. 31 touchdowns. He's in a shotgun. And he's got Zach Line right behind him. He'll take the snap at the 15. He's got it. They just hand it off. They're sprinting out to the right side. There's a good hole. There's a spin move, and he's going to get a first down across the 30 to 31. That's line. Shotgun again. Two wides here on the left. Split in on the right. Actually showing a tight end on this formation. Even though they don't have a tight end listed. Here's the sprint out again by line. Broke a tackle. He got another first down. He's mighty close to it. Darius Johnson was in a slot to the left. They moved him to the right. Shotgun halfback this time on Padron. The line up off his right hip. Got the snap. He wants to throw. He's under pressure. Drops back. Sack. There we go. Tony Gerard Eddy got the sack. And he drops him back at the, yeah, the 34 yard line. On their thirds last year, they were 44%. That note brought to you by Pepsi. Wants to throw. Steps up. Lofts one, and it's tapped up in the air and intercepted Texas A&M. And Stephen Campbell returned to the 35, got a block. Now he cuts back at the 30, 25, 20. He's at the 10. He's got a chance spilled inside the 10 at the six-yard line. Terrence Frederick got a tap on that and then into the hands of Campbell, who gets his first Aggie interception. So how about Campbell, the junior from Jersey Village. Frederick the tap. And then the INT is returned back to the six-yard line. That's a 52-yard return. But well, Terrence Frederick with perfect coverage and uh, was able to get a hand on this ball. The ball was thrown well, but Terrence was running a better pattern than the receiver was. Stephen Campbell, we talked about him in pregame, that he could be a very special player now that he's healthy. And what a great interception, but uh, an even better return. Just a good job of weaving his way through traffic and moving it into great field position for the Aggies. Daniels under center. He's got Gray lined up behind him as a deep tailback. Handoff Gray sprinting out left side. Still going in that direction at the five. Spilled at the five. Maybe just across the five-yard line. Gray and Michael are in the lineup. This is called the Husky Personnel Group. Handoff, and it goes to Michael, and he got the touchdown from about four yards out. The Aggies turn the interception into the points at 12-13 to go here on the first. A&M before the extra point has taken a 6 to nothing lead and that will be Kristen Michael who had four touchdowns last year gets the first touchdown of the year this season for Texas A&M on a four yard pickup. Boy, nothing fancy about that just over the right side and all he had to do was beat a, a small running or a small safety and he pounds it in. Extra point is up and good. They're taking off again. He just put his foot into the ball. And drifting back and near the end line. Now stepping out of the back of the end zone. Catching it over his shoulder will be Kenneth Packers. He's in uh, the two safety positions. Judy now and Frederick are the cornerbacks. They're at the line of scrimmage and a shotgun. Steps right. Steps up. Now forced to run. Tackle as he picks up two. The guy that made the stop is Jonathan Stewart. Second down and about eight at their 22-yard line. Around outside blitz, but that guy drops back. The drone throws. It's a catch. Not a first down. The ball is caught across the 25-yard line. Tackled by Dustin Harris. Slot left, the open side. Slot to the right. Snap at the 20. Steps up. Thinking about running. Throws one. It's a catch. That's across the 30. And now fighting for the 35 to 36. They have two in a slot on the left. They have a split end to the right. Short side to the right. Half back off the right hip of Padron. It's a first down play at their 36. Wanting to throw the ball. Now he is going to get down. Maybe a sack right there. He got back to the 35. That's going to be a loss of a yard. They're going to move uh, Beasley here to the uh, left side. They've got three men in that direction. There's a draw. They gave it to Line. Line looking for a hole. And he's going to fight his way across the 40 out to the SNU 44-yard line. They have carried six times. They have 24 yards. Here's third down and a couple. And a shotgun. Steps up. Looking. Throwing. And he throws. It's a shot to the man at the 25 yard line. the return. I believe that's Hunter. Hunter now is going to be dropped at the 45. He got it at the 30. Returns it to the SNU 45. A 
second interception for Texas A&M. The second of the night. Hunter had three of those babies last year. That return went 30 yards. So two possessions, two interceptions thrown by Padron. He threw only 14 last year in 508 passes. And Trent Hunter played center field as he usually does. This ball well overthrown. I don't know if it was wind. I don't know what happened. He had a man down there. But I think very good underneath coverage may have forced this ball a little long. Trent Hunter making the most of it, returning it for 30 yards, and a first down for the Aggies in SMU territory at the 45. Here we come to the uh, line of scrimmage. We'll check uh, career INTs here in a moment. Just hand it off there to Grays at the 40. He's got 10, he's got 11, he's got 12 to the 33 yard line. The line of scrimmage to the 45 on a first down and 10. And we're right, right back to the line of scrimmage. That hurry up offense for AM. Single setback. Tannehill is under center on a first down. The handoff again to Gray. Stop, spins, dropped at the line of scrimmage. scrimmage. The bunch formation now is in effect here with three on the left up close. Rolling right. Tannehill's throwing the ball. That's a pick up at the 20. And that's going to be Lamarck. Lamarck at the 20 yard line. And now at the 17 yard line, the official stop. Lamarck last year caught six for 42. Here's the handoff one more time. It's Gray's at the 10. Just got about seven yards, putting a lot of pressure on the SMU defense. One more time on the ground, looking for a corner. And that'll be Gray's to the five. That's a first down. We've got it first to the goal now. All right. Tommy Dorman's also checked in the lineup here now at first down and uh, or the first and goal at the five. Hand off, try the middle. That's Gray. Fights. Did he get in? Touchdown. That's Gray. Two possessions, two touchdowns, both of them set up by the interception by the Aggie defense. Gray just scored. And for Cyrus last year, 12 touchdowns. That's his first of the year. And he's just went up 13 to nothing. We have 6.38 left here in the first quarter. Two interceptions, Dave, and both turned into points. They just great second effort by Cyrus Gray. He was going to get that ball across the goal line. They stop him around the one. I think they may be planning to review this to make sure that he got in. The point. 6.38 left here in the first. The Aggies have picked off two passes against Padron. And now both of those have been turned into touchdowns by the offense. And now the extra point. I think it's 120 in a row that uh, Bullock has kicked. Now it's 122 as he has two here in this ball game. There he is approaching the ball. And one more time. It's going to be. And that one hit at the one yard line. Went out of bounds. Ooh. And they're still having a huddle up here with one of the officials that came off the sideline. So that's like a 35 yard penalty. When you kick it out of the five yard line. So here we go. First down and 10 SMU. Ags lead uh, 14 to nothing. 6.38 to go in the first. We have a man in motion going from the left, uh, right side to the left. to go set now. Padron's got a running back off his right hip. There's his snap. He was in a shotgun. This is a new guy back there. And he just carried from the 40 to the 44 yard line. Aggies 14 to nothing. And the shotgun again is McDermott. Drops back, sets up, steps up, throws a uh, pass out in the flats. That'll go to Beasley. Beasley is going to get about six yards. Beasley went in motion, stopped. Now comes back from the direction from which he came. There's third down, and about three. Throwing the ball. That's a catch at midfield to the 45 down the sideline. 40. Stepped out of bounds. Bring it back at the 41 yard line uh, to get over there to, to knock him out of bounds. And they're going to go on the ground again, and it's line. Oh, man, he had a determined run that time. He just got about 11 or 12 yards. Line of scrimmage is the Aggie 41. He just carried down to the Aggie 28-yard line. That's going to go 13 yards. And McDermott now has come in and replaced Padron. Mike uh, Lineski, our offensive spotter, says Padron's on the sideline with his helmet on, so it's not an injury situation. He did throw two interceptions on their first two possessions. Here's first down and 10 at the Aggie 28. SMU looking McDermott to his right, on to his left, throws it back to this side. And the second down, still 10 at the Aggie 28, the SMU offense. And it leads 14 to nothing. Go on the ground again, big hole, high score, 10, 5, touchdown. Up. Did he get in? They say touchdown. That'll be a nice carry there by Zach Line. Line just scored and made it 14 to 6. He just went 28 yards off the sideline over there. Review. So very big offensive line, all over 300 pounds of book, and they move. I've seen both guards pull and open up big holes for Zach Lyon, and that's how they got that 28-yard trap play uh, to get it down to the one. There's the play. They're going to throw, and now they turn, and they just turn back and threw it back here to the left side. And that was uh, caught by Lyon, who had run it in earlier. This time he got a little short passes in. 
Oh, he did that mighty quick. No, he handed off. It was a fake. He did hand off, and I bought the fake. He gave it the line and line, then carried it over the left side. So a touchdown there. Now it's 14 to six. Yeah, no question about that one. And now the extra point to make it a 14-7 game. It's Chase Hover again. He's a sophomore transfer from Plano. And this is his first extra point attempt in his career at SMU. And it's up and it's good. Marking it off. And now approaching the ball. He's right he hit the, the ball. onside kick. And he missed the ball. He hit that thing. Kicked it off the tee and it rolled forward to the 33-yard line. And then the Aggies went up and fell on it. Right, so here's Texas A&M at the 31 of SMU. First down and 10 with an I formation. And the handoff will go to Gray. Bounces it outside. Got some yards here. They go for about, uh, they give him the 25-yard line. A second down, rather, and four make it at the 25-yard line. Handoff again to Gray. Bouncing outside. A stiff arm. Stiff arm's another man. Fights off a guy. He's got a first down. Pushed out of bounds. At the 20 yard line. All right, move the uh, ball now to the SMU 20 yard line. First and 10. Gray faked by Tannehill. Rolling left, throwing the ball. Looks like a catch inside the five. At the five yard line, that'll be Ryan Swope. High formation again will line up here behind Tannehill. Dorman is a fullback. Got a loft one. They're going end zone, and it's Fuller. They're playing push and shove. There's going to be a in the end zone. And, uh, Crawford just about He's tackled it. interference, number six. Ball will be placed on the two-yard line, automatic first down. First and goal now at the two. We're penalized 39.1 times per game. The Aggies drew 62.5 penalty yards per game. High formation, handoff, it goes to Gray. Touchdown from the two. Just made it 20 to seven. Well, a miss hit ball on an onside kick attempt. Gave the ball to the Aggies at the 31 yard line. And they get it in with Gray carrying in from the two at his second touchdown of the night. Same thing they've been doing with uh, with Gray and uh, Kristen Michael is that, that pick a hole. He started to the right, found a gap, and was able to scamper through it. Oh, block right here. They picked the ball up. They're trying to go back the other way. Ags are chasing it. He's at the 50 now, tripped and spilled across the 50 at the 48 yard line. And here we go, kicking off again. Aggie football brought to you by Dogged Heavy Machinery Services. Keep your equipment powered up with North America's largest John Deere construction equipment dealer, Diggum Ags. Here's the kick. It's short. Almighty short with the wind at his back at the 14 yard line. The return to the 25, broke the tackle, spin move. Fighting with him at the 28 yard line. They'll give him the 29. They've run 10 plays. Uh, check that 17 plays, 98 yards. The Aggies 12 plays and 79 yards. Look at that short fields. Throw it flat, screen right side. Aggies trying to close on it. That will be uh, about a two, maybe a three yard gain across the 30 to the 32 yard line. A minute 29 to go in the first quarter. And him 20 to 7. Shotgun, halfback left, slot to the right. And the Handoff will be across the 35 to the 36. That's a line. The Aggies had an answer for it that time. They'll have a little bit of an advantage when we turn around to the quarter. Here's the third down. Good snap. Drops back across the 30. Looking, throwing. Got a man. And he is a catch at the Aggie 38 yard line. Wide, wide open. Here's first down. Give it to line. Line. Hold to the right side. Broke a tackle. Boy, he's getting it in big chunks now. At the 35, goes to the 31, across the 35, line of scrimmage, the 38, and to the 31 yard line. He just got seven yards. We'll check line here in a moment. Showing uh, since the demise of the SWC in 95, we played just once. It was here at Kyle Field. The Aggies won it. Final score of 66 to 8. There at the line of scrimmage on second down and three. SMU at the Aggie 31 line. Looking for the left side, got one. McDermott. Hand off. No, he kept the ball. Turns around. Got a guy right there in his face. The ball's caught for the first down. He got rid of it just before he was hit. They've got seven first downs now. They've got the ball at the Aggie 27-yard line. They've got 14.05 to go here in the half. And there's a wide open catch, and that's a first down. It's a touchdown, excuse me. And that's Keenan Holman. Man, alive. He was wide open. Somebody dropped coverage, and he caught that thing, and he went 27 yards. Nobody close to him when he caught the ball. Caught it at the five-yard line. 
Yeah, they, they cleared him out to clear somebody from left to right and then ran the, it's almost like a wheel route downfield. And uh, as you said, Dave, somebody dropped coverage because there's nobody near him. And that's a, a touchdown for SMU. And now the extra points by Hover and uh, he kicks it through and through. So now it's a 20 to 14 Texas A&M lead. SMU will kick off with a win at their back. A strong north one tonight, unusual for September. But a strong north here at Kyle. And they're not taking advantage of it. Coriel Judy at the seven yard line to the 15 to the 20. Spin move, caught, dropped around the ankles at the 24 yard line. They bunch formation out of the left, which is the open side. And Tannehill's under center. Just gave it to Gray. Gray bouncing it. He has a good hole. 30 cuts back. Flag is down. He's at the 40. He's out of bounds at the Aggie 42 yard line. Holding number 25 on the offense. 10 yard penalty. First down. That was first down, they say, and uh, 19 to go. Here is a screen. Tannehill got hit as he let go of the ball. And there's a fumble, but I think he was he down or not. Yes. Yes, he's yeah. down in the second, and the Aggies ahead 20 to 14 over SMU. Tannehill under center. Gray and Prelo lined up in the backfield. Prelo as a fullback. Tannehill drops back after going under center, throws to the sideline, stretching out, bringing it in at the 31 yard line. He is going to be watching to it. Third down and two make it. At the Aggie 32 yard line, need the 34. Drops back to throw. Tannehill dancing, going to throw it out in the flats. Incomplete pass at the 30 yard line. AM 20, SMU 14. Here's the snap. It's a good one. And it's a. Not a bad punt coming up. Fair catch call for, and they'll take it at the 28 yard line. That'll be Beasley, the guy that was there to catch that ball. They've got Jared Williams now at the running back position for SMU, but McDermott, who's been good, he's six of seven throwing the ball, 73 yards, replacing Padron, still out there at the quarterback position. First down and 10 at their 28. Going to air it out, throwing deep, and to the sideline. Oh, unbelievable catch at the. 45 yard line ball. And he's coming from the outside here as Porter's cheated up there on the line of scrimmage. And he was, and they're going to go on the ground. They read that. He's at the 50 to 45. And it'll be line back in the lineup. He was out for one play. Just picked up a first down for SMU. Mathis, Brown, and Tony Gerard Eddy make up the front three for Texas AM. We cheated two guys in on both ends. Now one drops off. They're looking to throw. Here it goes. And that is off the fingertips. A wide open Cole Beasley. They're about to run their 29th play. And it's a draw. And it's line. And the Aggies read it. He goes to the 39. He picked up two from the 41 to the Aggie 39 yard line. Again, he's got the wind at his back. McNeil standing back at the Aggie 10. Line of scrimmage now is the Aggie 44. That snap was a little hard to handle. And here is McNeil at the nine. Somebody tried to jersey tackle him. He spun around. He went down then back at the 11. After the SMU punt. And Tannehill with an eye formation lined up behind him. Got Hicks back there with him as well. There's a screen out to the right side. Swope caught that thing. He turns on the Jets across the 20 to the 22 yard line. Screen to the right. On a single setback. Daniel's been under center most of the night. Oh, great block on the corner. Swope just caught the ball and he goes to the 30. My, oh, my. That was Fuller that threw the block. Swope lined up tight here on the left side in a little bitty tiny slot. And he just went on the ground and that will be great. He bounced off a would be tackler. Can't get away from a second. Daniel's thrown it seven times tonight, completed six for 65 yards. He's under center again. It's second down and eight at the Aggie 32. Play action, rolling right. Tannehill looking. That is a, another catch. That's going to be Swope again, and I think a little extra step right there. Mother May I take a giant step. You know, it's a first down for your Aggies. That's eight of them so far tonight. Oh, with a handoff, straight ahead, spin move, Gray. Oh, he got nine. Oh, man alive, that was a power run by Gray. Just got nine. Boy, he is a, uh, he's worked hard in the weight room. I saw him there a lot during the summer. Second down, one yard. There's a pass. That will be Kendrick McNeil. That's going to be a first down. They're trying to strip the ball away from him. And a second effort there. Got him a couple of extra yards. We're right back at the line of scrimmage. Under center pitch to the right side. Lead blockers McNeil. Ball went to Cyrus. Cyrus spins. 
Line of scrimmage, the 41. He goes to the 36. He got five. Second down, five. The ball at the SMU 36. Give it to Cyrus again. Hits the middle. He has a first down. He's across the 30s to the 28-yard line. Freshman Cedric Oboy has replaced Luke Jokel in the offensive line right now for Texas A&M. Here is Tannehill. Got away from a would-be sacker looking to throw the ball. Throws a bullet to the sideline. Incomplete pass at about the SMU 12. Directly behind him is a deep tailback. Back at the SMU 35-yard line. Line of scrimmage again, the 28. Pumps once. Looking. Forced out of the pocket. Rolling. Now throwing. He's got a man. That's a touchdown at the one-yard line. That was improv improvised that time. Somebody get open, and Swope was the guy.